uh, 21, which is uh, question 56. So please try uh, question 56, see what answer you, you get for that. That is correct. It's not comfortable to read it, <laughs> that a neutral pH is 6.5, but yes, that is correct. So Kw is the uh, water dissociation constant. Kw is one of the uh, few constants in general chemistry, uh, equilibrium constants, where you do not, you, you have the, um, you have the, uh, the product, but you don't, don't have the reactant in the equilibrium constant. We've already looked at the Ka and Kb, acid and base equilibrium constants, and uh, Keq, which is the equilibrium constant. These constants, they're the product of the products over the product of the reactants, okay? However, Kw, and uh, there is another equilibrium constant which uh, does not use uh, the reactants. Does anybody remember it? Okay, because usually equilibrium constants have the products over the reactants. But here we only have products, H plus and OH minus. We don't have the reactants. There's another equilibrium constant like this. Yes, KSP, the solubility product constant, does not have the uh, reactant. It only has the products. These, both of these constants are like this because there's so much relative reactant. In other words, there's so much water and so little H plus and OH minus being ionized. How much? How little? <laughs> well, at room temperature, it's 10 to the minus 14, which means you get about 10 to the minus 7 H hydrogen ion, 10 to the minus 7 OH minus. 10 to the minus 7 is 0 0.000001. You know, that's a very small number. So when you have water, there's very little H plus being produced, very little OH minus, very, very little. But that 10 to the minus 7 H plus, okay, because if it's 10 to the minus 14 at room temperature, 25 degrees Celsius, 10 to the minus 14, that's 10 to the minus 7 times 10 to the minus 7, that gives you 10 to the minus 14, 10 to the minus 7 H plus, negative log 10 to the minus 7 gives us 7. That's why the pH of a water solution at room temperature is pH of 7. Less is acidic, more is basic. But we are not at room temperature. At 60 degrees, it's 10 to the minus 13. So now we have a different reaction. We have Kw is equal to hydrogen ion times OH minus is equal to 10 to the minus 13 now. So we don't have 10 to the minus 7 as a solution. We would end up getting 10 to the minus 6.5 as a solution for both. And 6.5 plus 6.5 gives us 13. So the hydrogen ion concentration of a solution at, uh, 10, at uh, 60 degrees Celsius gives us 10 to the power of minus 6.5. Then we have P, pH is equal to negative, um, negative log of hydrogen ion concentration. Hydrogen, hydro, hydrogen ion concentration in this case is 10 to the power of minus 6.5. So, now, if you remember your rules of logarithm, you're permitted to bring the 6.5 to the front, and we have two negative signs, so we have 6.5 times log of 10. Log 10, base 10, is equal to 1, so we have just 6.5. So the pH of a solution of 
10 to the power negative 6.5 pi to the 9 concentration gives us a pH of 6.5. Now, yes, the pH is 6.5, and had it been fluid temperature, that would have been acidic, but it cannot be acidic. It's impossible because this is the KW. It's the water dissociation constant, and the concentration of hydrogen and OH is equal. They're equal concentrations. And because they're equal concentrations, therefore, the solution must be neutral. Well, we made it. So that's uh, general chemistry. Uh, you know, that's, you know, the biggest topics that keep coming up. Of course, he still has, should do a review and whatever. And by the way, I'm happy to announce that we, uh, we just finished uh, creating some uh, GAMSAT general chemistry apps for uh, smartphones. Really, it's for iPhone for now, but we'll have Android out soon. And um, hopefully that'll help you, you know, review efficiently. And, uh, yeah, you have to do a review, but the great news is that you guys are early. This is a few months ahead of time, and, uh, and that's great because usually, you know, three to six months, three to six hours a day is a good, uh, helps to get a really great uh, GAMSAT score, so you guys are, are nice in a good time zone, you know, uh, for preparing for the uh, March exam. So hopefully you can keep up your energy, uh, keep steady. And uh, yes, um, organic chemistry, I'm not sure if it's the next one or if it's the one after that, but we'll definitely be doing organic chemistry and uh, we'll be doing um, the review. So um, good luck with your studies and, uh, and um, have a good uh, summer or winter, depending on, <laughs> on where, you, where you are. And, uh, and we'll see each other next time.